I was, uh, what did I see? Yeah, just within the past week, I saw, and this blew my mind. Apparently, this is a, a common yearly phenomenon, but the dust and sand from the Sahara Desert yeah. on a different continent across the ocean. I know. Has, it, it came, and I was looking at the photos of uh, the places in Puerto Rico where there's just so much sand. I said, and now apparently it's come to the U.S., but mm -hmm. is that something you, when you were younger that... Yeah, we've, was a we've, uh, it's always been an issue, uh, but this year it was particularly bad. Right. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen uh, I, the pictures or people talking about it, and I wasn't there to, to witness it. I, I just witnessed it from, from here like you did, um, but my wife was there, and she was like, well, I'm glad we have to wear masks anyway, because I probably would have put on a mask, honestly, because it's so, it's so intense right now. So, you know. That's that's it's, it's wild to think about. Uh, I was on my on mind because uh, one of the Grand Rounds presentation I gave was on uh, diffuse lamellar keratitis DLK, mm -hmm. which is like referred to as Sansa Sahara. Right. So anytime I see <laughs> Sahara pop up, I was just like, you know, on my computer, you know, Google or whoever's spying, you know, all these things regarding Sahara Desert pop up. And that came up the other day. And I was uh, that was the first time in my life I've ever heard about that. Right. So you're you're heading back in two weeks, man. What what are your hopes? What are your dreams now that you're done with training? What are you? What's well, on the horizon for you? Well, I just hope you know I can uh, get started. You know, get hit the ground running, and um, help people out, and just be there. Be there for the people of Puerto Rico. 